T minus 20. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Post-launch operations. First stage, PU is active. Copy that. Power to motion out. Ending paddleboard auto. Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage 1 propulsion is still nominal. Power to launch remain nominal. First stage propulsion remains nominal. Power and telemetry nominal. Stage one propulsion is still nominal. Recovery vessel has AOS. Booster separation confirmed. And back chill started. Boosters are flipping. Boosters have started the boost back burn. We have Eco 1. Stage separation confirmed. And we have MVAC start. Stage 1 flip. Stage 1 is entering its flip. Power and telemetry nominal. Bermuda, acquisition of signal. And booster shut down. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory. Stage 2 propulsion remains nominal. Stage 1 boost back has started up. And stage 1 boost back shut down confirmed.
Cape loss of signal. FTS has been saved. Stage two propulsion remains nominal. And we have Seco one. Booster reentry burn has started. And booster reentry shut down. Boosters are transonic. Booster landing burn started. Landing legs have deployed. LZ-1, Falcon 9 has landed. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100 on recovery in LZ-1 A-net. Stage one and your burn has started. And we have stage one entry shut down. Stage one is transonic. Burnship AOS. Stage one landing burn has started. Landing legs have deployed. Falcon 9 has landed. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100 on recovery net. Just begin to reacquire telemetry from the Falcon 9 is we're beginning to prepare for lighting the upper stage engine. I'll bring you commentary as we go through that. We've chilled in the upper stage engine's turbo pump. 
We're about, I think, 30 seconds out from ignition. Now we'll stay in the preparation phase right up until it's time to spin the turbine. We use onboard high pressure helium gas. We can't carry a long pipeline from the earth. It's not like we're operating off an electric cord all the way back to the launch site. We carry our gas and propellants on board. We'll spin the turbine pump and that'll start the burn sequence. And we see ignition. Burn is underway. Tank pressure is looking good. Chamber pressure is looking good. You see the characteristic red glow on the niobium alloy nozzle extension. Now currently to keep the payloads underneath the maximum acceleration, we throttle the upper stage engine. We're beginning to do that right now to stay underneath the roughly 5G acceleration limit. You can see on the webcast, we're continuing to burn. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good. And we're into the shutdown phase. And we have engine shutdown. A few events are coming up now. The propulsion system is going to prime. And a few other sensor speed actions that JFED will talk about as Dragon continues on its own to phase up to the International Space Station. Things are going well in orbit right now. Dragon is in its uh, good orbit right now. Prop priming is going on right now. And in about 15 seconds or so, we'll see the solar rays pop off of Dragon. Uh, that should happen in a few moments. Everything so far is looking good. Uh, just seeing what the, their Dragon mission director and team right now are reporting that that vehicle is healthy in orbit uh, and everything there is expected. And meanwhile, as you saw, the uh, first stage performed uh, beautifully. We've landed back at landing zone one as we'd hoped.